I think he's trading on his image as a Norfolk farmer to make his customers think all his turkey is English. But how does he do it? Simple. It's all about the packaging. All you have to do is make your product look English and not give any information about where the meat comes from. I'm going to make a turkey pie using meat from Brazil, Poland and Hungary and see if I can convince people it's actually English. Uh, so I've made the filling for my pie and now I'm going to put the pastry on it uh, and pop it in the oven. Here is my packaging. Turkey pie produced in England. This is perfectly legal. Now all I've got to do is see if I can flog them. Hi there. Hello, Jenny. Can I persuade you to taste some of my uh, turkey pie? Mmm, it's lovely. If I told you that the meat in that turkey pie comes from Hungary, Poland and Brazil. Yeah, I'm not going to catch nothing, am I? <laughs> The, the box is very misleading. When you look at that box, where do you think the meat in that pie comes from? I would think it comes from England. But if I put this box on the side and it said meat from Poland, Hungary and Brazil, would you buy it? More than likely not. Where do you think it comes from? Turkey. <laughs> I think we consumers have a right to know where our meat comes from. One person who agrees is David Clark from Red Tractor, the UK's leading independent food assurance scheme. If there's a red tractor on a piece of meat, you can be 100% sure it's British and carefully reared. Do you think it's important that when people buy food, they know exactly where it's come from? Absolutely. I mean, that's why we have a clear statement of country of origin within the logo. And therefore, the consumer cannot be confused. I think what I'm going to do is uh, go to Mr Matthews and ask him why he won't sign up for your, your red tractor scheme. I, I think that's a good idea. I wrote to Bernard Matthews explaining my concerns, asking him why he doesn't label where his meat comes from and demanding that he signs up to the red tractor scheme. Two weeks later... Here I am in central London. I've been summoned to meet Bernard Matthews' chief executive. Hi. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. Bernard doesn't get out much these days, so he sent his right-hand man to answer me. I have threatened to serve Bernard Matthews with a food asbo. Right. And he'll be my second one after Prince oh, no, Charles. I'll first one. Now, Bart, I've got a whole bag full mm. of packaging here, but I'm looking for where this turkey comes from. We've um, not realised uh, it's that important. In fact, we would welcome all of the origin of meat to come on because we'll find that we still have a vast majority of our stuff comes from the UK. But hang on a minute, Bart. On the 5th of February, Bernard Matthews' company said all our turkeys are British. All our turkey eggs uh, come from our hatchery uh, yeah. and from our laying flocks, which are ours, in Norfolk. Yeah. Uh, so all our turkeys are. Now, those eggs may go to Hungary uh, to be born, but uh, to be reared. But the vast majority of all of our turkeys are in Norfolk and, and uh, reared but in Norfolk. When you say all our turkeys are British, does that mean that the ones who are in Hungary, their mum and dad's are British? <laughs> uh, certainly, yeah. But they're living in Hungary? Yeah. So they're Hungarian turkeys? The vast majority of our products come from the UK and we're going to very clearly signpost uh, those products that are British. And what we're doing on the back is we're going to take a lead uh, on it and describe when products are British, it'll be very clearly stated it's British. And we've got agreement from... Red tractor, so we can use that. Uh, so logo. you are going to put the red tractor yeah. sign starting yeah. when? It will be by the beginning of September. So when it says under Bernard Matthews that you're just going to be in here? Yeah, made from Turkey, from our own farms or from wh wherever else.